Hello dear students, we are back once again with electrophilic substitution reactions of toluene. Today we will take one more electrophilic substitution. We have already undergone the nitration and sulfonation. Now we are going to take the third one and that is the halogenation reaction of toluene. In halogenation reaction, we can include two halogen reactions. One is chlorination and one is bromination. Let us take chlorination reaction of toluene. I am going to react toluene with chlorine. In such a way that I get an electrophile out of it. So to get an electrophile, a specific, a precise reagent is required. Over here we have FeCl. FeCl3 as a catalyst. But here FeCl3 is chosen. The reason that Fe it has got atomic number 26. Of its 26 electrons, the three valence electrons are bonded with Cl. And each Cl has seven valence electrons. Right. So here ion shares its electron with chlorine, each chlorine atom. And as a result, you can see each chlorine completes its octet. But what about ion? Fe is yet not satisfied with its octet. So that will prompt, that will allow the reaction to create an electrophile out of Cl2. Cl2. Cl having seven valence bonded to another Cl atom having seven valence electrons. They are bonded together and as a result each Cl atom is able to complete its octet. Now this Fe has six electrons after sharing with three chlorine atoms. To complete octet it requires two more. So it prompts one of the chlorine atoms from chlorine molecule to bind with it. Not only that, the chlorine which is binding with Fe has to come with 8 electrons. That means what happens? It takes away the electron of the neighboring chlorine atom to which it is bonded. And as a result, it forms bond with Fe forming a coordinate covalent bond. Whereas on the other side, the chlorine atom which is left without electron is now no more atom but it is your electrophile. That is it has got only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 valence electron. So that Cl attains plus sign, this Cl is minus sign and this Cl plus participates in the reaction with toluene. So here overall the temperature maintained is around 30 degrees Celsius or you can consider as 303 Kelvin. It is an electrophilic substitution reaction. So the H atom bonded on the carbon will have to get replaced by the chloronium ion. But before that we know it is the methyl group. Methyl group is electron uh, donating group and so it will direct the incoming group on ortho and para positions respectively. So here the Cl plus which is getting on the toluene car carbon has to take ortho or para positions. So here you can see the methyl group I am showing over here CH3 which is ortho para directing. With respect to it either this or these are ortho positions. I am taking right now this position as ortho and one more with respect to the methyl group, this position is para position. So 
as we have a mixture of ortho and para to balance the reaction we will make Cl2 into 2 moles where 1 Cl plus that is chloronium ion which attacks the benzene nucleus which is rich with pi electron cloud so H leaves the carbon leaving its electron there on carbon so that H now converts into proton H plus okay we'll talk about that later on before that this carbon is rich with electron Cl is lacking electron the plus and the minus charges are getting nullified and as a result Cl gets bonded on this carbon on the other hand you can see the Cl also can bond on the carbon which is at the para position so here you get O chloro toluene because the positions are ortho at ortho we have Cl and basically the compound is toluene this is para so we write P chloro toluene so this is how you get a mixture of ortho and para and then you can separate it by the uh, different practical methods now further if chlorination is carried out further chlorination again with ferric chloride catalyst again at high temperature this ortho and para mixture will convert into a single compound and you can see this is ortho this is para so in single compound you get both the chlorine substitutions that is the CH3 of toluene will remain there itself but this ortho Cl and this para Cl will be obtained on the same compound that gives you 2 4 dichloro toluene 2 4 dichloro toluene now in every step H which left giving you H plus that is proton that H plus combines with this Cl minus in both cases and over here so we have two moles of HCl byproduct 1H plus 1H plus and here you have Cl minus Cl minus 2 moles so that forms 2 moles HCl here we have taken 1 mole chlorine the Cl plus you know it has formed on the second on the fourth position so here also you can have in a similar way HCl as a byproduct so this is what you can see is the halogenation reaction but as we have reacted with chlorine it is your chlorination reaction instead of that we take again toluene and we react it with bromine in presence of ferric bromide as a catalyst temperature is 40 degrees celsius or you can write 313 kelvin concept remains the same as that of cl so here i'll take two moles br methyl group is an op directing group and so it uh, in the, i mean directs the incoming group on both the ortho and para positions so here you have ch3 this is as you know ortho this is as you know para so this is br this is br so it is ortho bromo toluene fine this is para bromo toluene so you get a mixture of ortho and para and two hydrogen in the form of protons will combine with two br minus and that will form two moles of hbr as, as a byproduct if you further perform bromination with the same catalyst febr3 and if you hit the reaction mixture you will get two and four positions both acquainted with br and as a result you get two four dibromo here you had dichloro here you have two br so dibromo toluene so i'll write it as two four dibromo toluene so this is how you can carry out halogenation reaction of toluene in the previous episodes we have seen halogenation reaction of benzene in that we have taken much much detail of how this uh, uh, electrophile is obtained 
from the reagent that is participating how this catalyst is playing the role to create an electrophile this we have taken already in the episode of halogenation reaction of benzene so go through that episode as well for detail mechanism reaction mechanism i have given you over here but it is little bit short but there we have detailed it right so this is a halogenation reaction prepare well and we'll continue for more uh, topics that is alkylation and acylation reactions of tol toluene till then see you take care